All right, Spreaker.com, you're on the air. Let's get the church in the house. And, of course, uh, let's grab our intro uh, for you here, Frank, in just a quick second, and then we're going to get going on this Monday morning. Welcome, friends, coast to coast and worldwide. You're live on the air with Pastor Rick. All right, good to see you. Good to be here. Hey, we're going live on a video podcast here this morning. Uh, let's see, let's get our countdown going, and then I think I've got all the lights, uh, somewhat, about as normal or, uh, reset as possible, uh, friends, that's, that's not a whole lot I can do on that one, um, <laughs> so let me see what I can try to block out anyway, a lot of reflections, uh, happening here, friends, and, oh, let me get chance to see if I can adjust my chair. It broke finally. It's on its last leg, so hopefully this week I'll br- grab a new one. Uh, if not, uh, I'll work on some way to get me another chair, because I cannot stand it. So, anyway, let's get our intro for StreamYard, and I think the cross is okay. Uh, I readjusted uh, the microphone and or the uh, camera anyway, so let's see what we got. Hey, man, hope you guys are doing well. All right, Spreaker, Block Talk, you guys are on the air. We're going to get our countdown going, and then we're going to go live this morning uh, for your Monday morning, the 17th here, uh, as soon as I get everything <laughs> reset. Ah, mercy, friends. It's one of them, you know, it's one of them things where, like, all my equipment just breaking down and malfunctioning, so I'm having to just kind of ad-lib and, uh, do what I can here. So let's uh, let's get our intro going, and then we'll get our show going here. Bear with me, guys. We're getting everything started. All right. And let's see. Oops. Okay. Hopefully that'll go. So bear with me. Uh, we're getting our intro going, and let's see. Oh, that's there. All right. And there it is. Cue the camera. You're live, friends. Wow, what a start. What a restart I did. I uh, actually had to make sure that the camera was working and operating. So, uh, good to see you, friends. Welcome. Come on in. Let's uh, get everybody tuned in and dialed up. Uh, let's get our camera going for our camera and the uh, audio part for radio.co. And of course, let's roll on over. There you are, Spreaker. We got Spreaker Channel 3. We got Spreaker Channel 1, of course, live on the dial here this morning. Uh, it is uh, April 17th here, friends, and you are live on the air. Uh, let's see. So we got that going. Let's get our intro for uh, three. All right. Amen. All right. There it is. A little bit of uh, <laughs> trying to see how things go here. Marcia, my friends. Wow. It's been a little bit of a battle with the recordings here. So uh, I'm trying. So give me a minute or two. Let me try to get that together here. Uh, amen. All right. So let's get, um, what do we got? Let's get Tin Can. All right, Tin Can, there you go. Hey, we're live. I'm live. How you doing? What is going on? Let's pull up our monitors. Uh, amen, friends. Boy, I appreciate you dropping by, hanging out with me for a couple hours here. Uh, kind of resetting and retesting StreamYard here. Uh, so recording, uh, recording live here, of course. All right. So, uh, man, let's go ahead. Uh, I have a little bit of technical problems trying to get set up here. Uh, so bear with me, you guys. And all right, let's see what I got. All right, there it is. So we're live on Block Talk Spreaker. We got everybody in the house. Uh, welcome. Come on in, friends. Doors are open. Church is on. We're live. We got Tin Can, not Stin Can, but Tin Can with us the, this early morning Monday. 
Uh, I am uh, recording live here, of course, StreamYard TV. Uh, YouTube, and what do we got? LinkedIn and more. So if you guys are on the other channels, you're going to get the podcast here. All right. Well, uh, we got a lot to cover, my friends. Uh, we're going to open up with Acts chapter 26. I was going to go to uh, Romans, but I thought, well, let's just jump right into Acts, uh, friends, uh, 26. And uh, go ahead and do that. And then we're going to jump into Romans. And then, of course, we've got all kinds of scriptures here for you. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Try to readjust everything. Oh, mercy, friends. You know, it's just one of them things where you just got to kind of think outside the box and get going on it. So let's see. Uh, all right. So pens, papers, notebook, tablets, highlighters, your Bibles, of course, that's the main thing here. And your fresh cup of coffee. I happen to have mine right here, my friends. Let's get going. We're going to pray it in. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and uh, have some church this morning. Uh, a little after 1 a.m. on a reset here. Again, live on StreamYard TV for the 17th of April. Can you believe that, friends? We're already that far into the new month here. Pretty soon it's going to be May. And, uh, well, you know, <laughs> I'm getting one month closer to my uh, to my birthday. So, you know, we keep I just keep rolling and pushing forward, friends. Amen. All right. My backup coffee, just in case, with the jacuzzi cover, because I don't want them critters jumping on there. All right, what do we got? Uh, let's pray it in. Let's go ahead and just pray that in right now. And uh, as I kind of readjust my desk here uh, in the pulpit here, not cooperating with me, of course. And uh, I think we're about dialed in here. So let's just pray it in, friends. I'm praying for each and every one of you. Pastor Rick, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network is in the house live this morning. Let's pray it in, my friends. Uh, Heavenly Father, I come before you as always uh, humbled, appreciative of the opportunities I get here in the studio and in, in your church to share the gospel uh, as we you know, plant the seeds there and you water it, Father God. You bring them into the fold and uh, what a what a task! And so I, I I'm doing what I can here, uh, and again I always appreciate the opportunity. So uh, thank you for the protection over the Wi-Fi, over the studio, over over the house here. I um, I you know we always uh, appreciate that, and uh, your your guardianship over the ministry here is awesome. Uh, as you call me again to this mission, I appreciate that. And, uh, you know, you, it's, it's difficult sometimes as the task is at hand. Oh, I am so grateful uh, for this chance to, to, you know, to be here today and to share this word. Uh, I want to pray for, of course, everybody watching and hearing, family, friends, everybody connected, everybody watching and hearing the, prod, the bod, uh, podcast there and the broadcast, of course. Uh, as I'm multitasking and trying to get this mission out, or message out, uh, again, praying for family, friends, everybody here uh, watching and, and hearing the messages that it touches their hearts and gives them that strength and that courage uh, that we all need and that we are uh, seeking and, uh, you know, to, to be encouraged, Father God. So I just give this over to you. This is your church. This is your service. I'm just a vessel called to uh, be here to, to share this word. And again, thank you for that uh, mission that you have called me to. So I want to just, just, you know, just thank you in Jesus' name I pray right now. Amen and amen. All right, folks. Let, <laughs> let me try to get my sleeping computers dialed in here because I've got all kinds of messes going on. All right, so I think I got a sneeze. I'm not sure, but uh, I'm feeling that uh, that extra sneeze there coming in, and uh, well, we're gonna we're not gonna have that. So let's get to it. Let's get going. I don't know how much time I've got uh, on the stream yard. They've kind of cut me back down to a, a just a, a basic uh, here. So I'm gonna just give you as much as I can in the time that we got. You know, we we time it with Block Talk Radio. 
We've got that hour and 45 minutes, but I'm, as I, you know, I've always told you here, kind of grandfathered in to uh, the extra time, so usually get over two hours. But uh, we're going to run through our scriptures. We're going to go through our archive Bible study series uh, in the book of Job again. Friends, if you are following along, uh, 22 to 24 uh, it on the, uh, on the uh, message there in the archive uh, Bible study series. So let's pull that pulpit up as I'm trying to readjust everything again. I've been maneuvering some chairs and uh, stuff here in the studio. Uh, and uh, so, you know, it's, it's a, you know, kind of a, it's a project. Let me just leave it at that and let you know it's a project. So trying to build up Studio A here. Uh, we'll probably hopefully get some expansion uh, room out so I can kind of separate, you know, the studio out a little bit here. Uh, amen. Looking forward to that. God is always expanding and uh, enlarging the territory. So I appreciate that. Now, let me see if I can't scoot over a little bit here uh, as <laughs> I'm getting just boxed in my my area, even though I moved the chair out, uh, or the t the whole desk, I moved the whole entire desk forward about two feet, so, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a, little bit of expansion room there, let's see, let's adjust this, uh, now again, I want to send some shout outs, you guys on the Facebook groups, you guys know who you are, pastors, and, uh, you know, the, the Christian groups there, thank you guys for your support there, uh, of course, my little sister, uh, praying for you, and my friend, all the way out in Switzerland, uh, Miss Sophie, thank you. Long time, uh, long time, uh, friend. So, uh, thank you guys for all that, for the support. Uh, let's get to it. I hope <laughs> my camera looks crooked, but uh, hopefully it's not, and it's it should be okay here. So, uh, I don't know. It don't look <laughs> it don't look right to me, but. Uh, it looks like I'm leaning, uh, so hopefully it's not, and uh, I don't know. I'm not sure, but it looks like it's crooked, so sorry about that, friends. I know the, the stand is right here. The mic, the camera is right here, uh, and um, it it, uh, it looks off, but it always look, I think it always looks off to me, but it might be uh, just a little bit uh, crooked here. Uh, and I can't even I can't even adjust it. I mean, I if I get up, I'm going to block the camera, and uh, that's that's not good. But um, and I looked at it before and it looked all right. But now that I'm on live, it's it looks like it's off. But I, I like I said, I can't I can't readjust that. So anyway, we're going to read some scriptures, friends. We're going to have some church. So come on in. Doors are open. I uh, got a chair waiting for you, friends. Amen, brothers and sisters. Let's get some church in. Pastor Rick here. Uh, appreciate you guys' uh, support. Uh, new followers on YouTube is amazing, friends. Thank you guys for that. Of course, the old school. Uh, you guys have been with me for a long time. I appreciate that uh, that support. So don't forget to like and subscribe over there, friends. Amen. Uh, now, I'm going to be doing probably a uh, maybe just a brief update over on Twitch TV Ministry Podcast Live there. Um, I didn't include it here because uh, tonight sometime I've got we're going live on uh, Restream TV and I will be live on Twitch TV for that. So I'm going to probably just do a quick half an hour uh, update. So Lots to do, my friends. Always something. Never a dull moment, you know, in the church here. So, uh, <laughs> amen. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Hopefully. Maybe that's, no, it, it looks crooked to me. I don't know, folks. You guys can let me know. Uh, let's read some Bible, friends. Let's get into it. Hope you guys had a great weekend and didn't get a chance to go live um, again just uh so much uh happening and trying to get everything together here so i think i was live on the 13th so it wasn't too bad uh you know wasn't actually that bad of a like three days so i'm trying to tighten up that schedule a little bit but we've got construction coming in uh some things happening so i'm i'm doing the best i can here friends amen all right, so we've got that dialed in, and uh, 
thought I felt a, I thought I felt a feather, hoping it wasn't a critter. <laughs> Man, let's get to it, friends. How about we read, and I want to go ahead and pull that down because I think that's, we got that locked in. I think that's going good. So, again, I want to go to Acts chapter 26. Uh, again, you know, I like to read a lot of scripture here in church, so let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so again, quick adjustment on the microphone as always. And let me double check. We are live right now on a couple of channels, so that's awesome. All right, uh, Acts 26, friends, on this Monday morning, not Monday night, Monday morning, the 17th, early morning, uh, friends, again, a little after one. All right, then Agrippa said unto Paul, thou art permitted to speak for thyself. Then Paul stretched forth the hand and answered for himself. I think myself happy, King Agrippa, because I shall answer for myself this day before the touching all the things whereof I am accused of the Jews, especially because I know thee to be expert uh, in all customs and questions which are among the Jews, and wherefore I beseech thee to hear me patiently. My manner of life from my youth, which was at the first among mine own nation at Jerusalem, Know all the Jews, which I knew from the beginning, if they would testify that after the most straightest sect of our religion, I lived a Pharisee. Uh, Acts 22.3. Now remember the extra side scriptures there, folks. All right, verse 6. And now I stand and am judged for the hope of the promise made of God unto our fathers. Genesis 3.15. Unto which promise our twelve tribes, instantly serving good day and night, hope, or uh, serving God day and night, hope to come for which hope's sake. Uh, King Agrippa, I am accused of the Jews. Luke 2, 37. Uh, why should it be thought a thing incredible with you that God should raise the dead? I verily thought with myself that I ought to do many things contrary to the name of Jesus of Nazareth. That's verse 9 there, friends. All right, 10, which thing I also did in Jerusalem, and many, uh, many of the saints did I shut up in prison, having received authority from chief priests, or the chief priests, and when they were put to death, I gave my voice against them. Acts 8. Now, remember, friends, we are live on Tin Can, so you guys are getting that uh, live broadcast there, uh, as well as the other channels. So, and uh, I believe we are live. There it is. And let's see. We got Radio.co with us this morning, too. Pretty awesome. Uh, amen. I think we're okay here, so let's uh, keep going. All right, so again, kind of going back over to 10, we're going to pick it up right from uh, saints. Did I shut up in prison, having received authority from the chief priests? And when they put were put to death, I gave my voices against them. That's over in Acts 8, 3, friends. So, all right, let me, let me let's see. I'm going to make sure I'm facing the camera. I have to readjust my spot. All right, and I think our microphone is kind of dialed in a little bit better here i don't know uh you guys that use these great mics i uh, had a little bit of a uh, kind of a quick adjustment with them but uh boy i'm it passed the uh go mark and i'm i'm hanging on to it i'm gonna get another one here pretty soon too so great mics uh just saying <laughs> let's go back to the scripture verse 11 and i punished them off in every synagogue and i compelled them to blaspheme and being exceedingly mad against them, I persecuted them even unto the strange cities. Uh, we got Acts 22, verse 19 for that. Now, whereupon as I went to Damascus with authority and commission from the chief priest, Acts 9, 3, as we see in 13 here, at midday, O king, I saw on the way a light from heaven, 
above the brightness of the sun, shining round about me them which journeyed with me. And when we were all fallen to earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me, saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, uh, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. In 15, and said, and I said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. But rise and stand up, or a stand upon thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister uh, and a witness both of these things which thou hast seen, and of those things into which I will appear unto thee delivering thee from the people, from the Gentiles, and to whom now I send thee. And, and that's, that's what I've been talking about, friends, as that scripture says, Here I am, Lord, send me. Amen. Right? Now, in 18, uh, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness, friends, to light, and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. Now let's go on to 19. Whereupon, O King Agrippa, I was not disobedient unto the heavenly vision, but shewed first unto them of Damascus and at Jerusalem and throughout all the coast of Judea and to the Gentiles, of course the non-Jews, are the Gentiles there, uh, that they should repent and turn from God and do works uh, meet for repentance, friends. For these causes the Jews caught me in the temple and went about to kill me, Acts 21, 30. Having therefore obtained help of God, I continue unto this day witnessing both the small and great. Uh, saying none other things than those which the prophets and Moses did say should come. And I got a couple of them, friends, I'm going to throw at you here. Luke 24, 27, and John 5, 46. Amen. All right. Uh, let's see. So we got 23 here, verse 23, that Christ should suffer and that he should be the first that should rise from the dead and should shew light unto the people and to the Gentiles. And as he thus spoke uh, for himself, Festus said with a loud voice, Paul, thou art besides thyself. Much learning doth make thee mad. But he said, I am not mad, most notable Festus, but speak forth the words of truth and soberness. For the king knoweth of these things before whom all also, let's see, whom also I speak freely. Uh, for I am persuaded that none of these things are hidden from him. For this thing was not done in a corner. King Agrippa, believest thou the prophets? Ah, uh, he said, I know that thou believest. Then Agrippa said unto Paul, Almost thou persuadest me to be a Christian. Amen, right? And Paul said, I would to God that not only thou, but also all that hear me this day were both almost and altogether such as I am, except these bonds. And when he had thus spoken, the king rose up, and the governor, and Bernice, and they that sat with them. In 31, and when they were gone aside, they talked between themselves, saying, This man doeth nothing worthy of death or of bonds. Then said King Agrippa unto Festus, This man might have been set at liberty, if he had not appealed unto Caesar, we got Acts 25 and uh, verse 11. So there you go, a great story there, friends. If you if you happen to get in there and uh, dig into that word there, that's pretty awesome, and uh, I'm glad to share that with you, friends. 
Amen. So I'm kind of watching the monitors here. Uh, amen. All right. So that was uh, Acts. Now let's go uh, keep rolling here on our Monday early morning podcast. Now I got uh, I've got uh, some sheetrock workers coming in here uh, tomorrow early morning. That's why I'm doing the podcast now. Uh, hopefully I'll get a chance to do uh, another one sometime in early evening or, you know, 1030 Monday nights. And I think I'm going to be at Restream. So we're going to bring that back up. But I wanted to get back on here and at least do another video, uh, you know, a video audio podcast. Because I think, like I said, this is the last one. Um, the last one was just over on uh, the audio. So we, we, you know, we went live on Spreaker and Block Talk Radio and all that. And then I just did an update this morning uh, as well. Yesterday or this morning on wisdom. So if you guys check out and subscribe over there, uh, I am on the wisdom audio app as well as verbal friends. Now check that out too. I still am on there. Uh, and uh, also don't forget uh, Getter and Rumble TV. I've moved on over there. Uh, not doing so many live, uh, you know, on a couple little channels. I've kind of shut down a little bit. I think God's got me. Uh, right where he wants me broadcasting from, and you know that's uh, just gotta fulfill that mission that he's called me to. So uh, there you go, all the channels wherever you happen to listen to your podcast, friends, dial it up, tune in, and you can check it out, my friends. I dare you, snoop around. I, go ahead, listen to it. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's good. I mean, all right. Well, let's see. Let's go back a little bit here again, Romans, friends. Let's go ahead and go. Uh, back to Romans here, as I'm still going through all my notes, trying to get all that uh, process through here. It's uh, quite the daunting task, but like I said, my friends, I don't ever complain about reading the Bible. We need to be in that Word every single day. Uh, you know, all all the chaos that's going on out there. Whew, we need to <laughs> we need to be in our Word, my friends. I'm telling you. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can get to it, uh, my friends. Let's go on over there. All right, give me a second. When you get there, friends, give me a big amen. Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. Amen and amen. All right, so we've got Romans, friends. We're going to go to Romans uh, chapter 12, 1 through 21. Go ahead and get there, and I'll see you when we get there. Amen. All right, so let's see. Oh, boy, we got, like I said, we got a, a lot of scriptures, uh, friends. And as always, like I like to just uh, throw, uh, you know, throw those scriptures out for you. Uh, you guys can hit that TiVo button. Just go through a little bit. Study the word. And there you go. And then you're back. And then you can just keep rolling right on through your Bible study. Uh, amen. All right, let's grab that fresh cup of coffee, for our, my friends. Uh, fresh, squeezed off the griddle, ready to go. It is good, friends. Amen. All right. Fresh word, fresh cup of coffee. Why not? Come on in, friends. It's your Monday morning early Bible study podcast. Welcome, friends. Let's go ahead and read on. All right, chapter 12 uh, in the book of Romans, the perfect will of God, brothers and sisters. Overcome evil with good, I say, I say. Let's go ahead and keep going. Chapter 12 in the book of Romans this morning. All right, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, amen, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, Holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, church, brothers and sisters, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is uh, good, that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say, through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly, uh, as we see here, than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God had dealt to every man the measure of faith. And we've got Proverbs 25, 27, and Romans 1, 5, friends. 
All right, for as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we, being many, are one body in Christ. And every one members one of another, having then gifts differed, uh, differing according to the grace that is given to us, in verse 6 here, uh, whether prophesy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. Or ministry, let us wait on our ministering. Uh, or that uh, teaching, or teach F on teaching, uh, Ephesians 4.11 for your side uh, scripture there. Or, let's see, verse 8. Or he that exhorteth, uh, <laughs> exhortation, right, there it is. He that giveth, let him do it with simplicity, and he that ruleth with diligence. He that sheweth mercy with cheerfulness, friends. As, there's you go. And, all right. Uh, or in part of it, it says on the side note. In verse 9, let love be without dissimulation, abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. And there's your first uh, key scripture there for that one. All right. Uh, let's see. Now, in 10, be kindly affectioned one to another with brotherly love. In honor, preferring one another, Philippians 2, 3. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. Luke 10, 20, and Romans 5, 2 for that one, friends. All right, distributing to the necessity of saints, given to hospitality. Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one towards another. Mind not high things, but condense uh, condescend, not condense. Don't don't be condensing. Uh, condescend to men uh, of low estate, and be not wise in your own conceit. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. Uh, if it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Again, uh, going back over to Mark 9.50 and Hebrews 12.4. Now, let me double check my monitors. I think I got that pulled up pretty good. Uh, it seems to be adjusting a little bit on its own, so that's uh, kind of surprising, but I always have to kind of keep an eye on it, too. So, anyway, there you go. So... Oh, uh, let's see. Again, I think, uh, well, to go to 17 here. A recompense to no man evil for evil, provide honest uh, in the sight of all men. In 18, if it is possible, as much as lieth in you, uh, live peaceably again uh, with all men. Amen. All right, 19, dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, vengeance is mine, right? I will repay, saith the Lord. And I tell you, his punishment uh, is far more. So anyway, uh, let's see, let's go to 20. Now, therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him, right? Uh, if he thirsts, give him drink, for in so doing thou shalt heap coals of fire, my friends, on his head. And be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Some good life lessons, I'd say, you know, uh, as we follow that, uh, the commandments there. All right, good stuff. Oh, man. All right, uh, let's see. Let's go all the way back over to here. Uh, uh, um, let's see, hope you far over, to see. Jeremiah, amen, good scripture here, uh, 23, friends, we're going to look at 23, and that's going to be, uh, <laughs> let's see, I'm kind of rewriting some notes here, 
Uh, amen. All right. So, and that is going to be number four here. All right. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. Friends, go ahead and keep reading some scriptures here. We've got Jeremiah 23, friends. So let's go ahead and get to that. Amen. Watching the sleeping monitors here. Mercy. I need more room. <laughs> can, can I order some more room here in the studio? I think I'm getting crowded a little bit. But, you know, it's good. I'm, I'm not complaining. I, it's, there you go. You know, count our blessings, right? Uh, <laughs> Amen. Oh, mercy, friends. It is awesome. Good to be here with you. I appreciate you dropping by the studio uh, this morning. Uh, spend a little time in the Word, precious friends. Thank you guys so much. All right, Jeremiah 23. Let's read on, my friends. Amen. Whoa, now this is a warning to the pastor. I don't know why I get this again, but I did. And I was going to go to some more, another channel, or another not channel, but a, another scripture um, and this kept coming up. I think it's it's a, a, a warning. Uh, heed the warnings, friends. So, chapter 23 in the book of Jeremiah, let's go ahead and read on. He says, Woe unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor, uh, saith the Lord. And therefore thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my sheep, or feed my people, right? Uh, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away. And that can be your key verse there. Uh, and have not visited them. As we look at the remnant shall increase. Friends, let's keep going here. Uh, he said, visit them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries whither I have driven them and will bring them again to their folds. And they shall be fruitful and increase. And I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them. Yeah, let me get that together there. Uh, and they shall fear no more, uh, nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. And your side scripture is going to be Jeremiah 3.15, friends, on that one. All right. In 5, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth amen now in this or his days judah shall be saved and israel shall dwell safely and this is his name whereby he shall be called the lord our righteousness amen now therefore behold the days come saith the lord and they shall no more say the lord liveth which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Jeremiah 16, 14. But the Lord liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country and from all countries whither I had driven them and they shall dwell in their own land. We got uh, Isaiah 43, 5 for that one. All right, now, mine heart within me is broken because of the prophets. All my bones shake. I am like a drunken man, and like a man with wine hath overcome, because of the Lord and because of the words of his holiness. For the land is full of adulterers. For because of swearing the land mourneth, uh, and the pleasant places by or of the wilderness are dried up, and their course is evil. And their force is not right, Jeremiah 5, 7. For both prophet and priest are profane. Yea, in my house have I found their wickedness, saith the Lord. Uh, Jeremiah six thirteen. Now, wherefore their way shall be unto them as slippery ways in the darkness, and they shall be driven on and fall therein, for I will bring evil 
uh, upon them, even the year of their visitation, saith the Lord. Psalm 35, 6. And Jeremiah eleven twenty three, friends, for your side scriptures there. And 13, get that note taken care of there. All right. And I have seen folly in the prophets of Samaria and prophesied in Baal and caused my people, uh, Israel, to err, or err, not ear, err. There you go. Uh, 14, I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem uh, an honorable thing. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen also the hands of evildoers, uh, that none doth return from his wickedness. They are all of them unto me as Sodom and uh, the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. Amen, right? Uh, there we go. So the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. So it's a you know comparison of Sodom and Gomorrah there. We all know what happened there, right? All right. Now, 15. Uh, Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets. Behold, I will feed them with wormwood and make them drink the water of gall. Uh, he says, for, let's see, let's see, got a sleeping monitor there. Let's go ahead and fix that. Ugh, Mars settings or something. All right, from the prophets of Jerusalem is profaneness gone forth into all the land. Jeremiah 8, 14. Uh, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. Uh, they make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. Jeremiah 14, 14. They say still unto them that despise me, the Lord has said, ye shall have peace. Uh, and they say unto every one that walketh after the imagination of his own heart, no evil shall come upon you. Jeremiah 6, 14. In 18, for who hath stood in the counsel of the Lord and hath perceived and heard his word? Who hath marked his word and heard it? And behold, a whirlwind of the Lord is gone forth in fury. Uh, even as a grievous whirlwind, it shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. We've got Jeremiah 25, 32 friends on that one. Amen. All right. Now, in 20, the anger of the Lord shall not return until he have executed until he hath performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days, ye shall consider it perfectly. Genesis 49, verse 1. Friends, on that one. Uh, amen. All right. Uh, let's see. So, 21. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. Uh, 22, if they had stopped or stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. As we look at hearken not to false prophets. And clearly we see uh, just multitudes of them. So be cautious, friends. Amen. So the burden of the Lord. So let's keep going. We got 23 here. Uh, am I a God at hand, saith the Lord, and not a God afar off? All right, he is. Now, uh, can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? Saith the Lord. Do not I fill heaven and earth? Saith the Lord. Uh, we got First Kings eight twenty seven on that one. Going, uh, I believe that's uh, going old school there. Uh, yep, there it is. Amen, friends. All right, twenty four. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? Let's go back over that again. Uh, Do not I fill heaven and earth? Saith the Lord. I have heard that, or what the prophet said that prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed. I have dreamed, 
right? Uh, how long, friends, as he says here in 26, how long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Uh, yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart, uh, which think to, my, uh, to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor, uh, as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. Uh, Judges 3, 7. The prophet that hath a dream, let him tell a dream. Uh, and he that uh, hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to the wheat? Saith the Lord. Is not my word like as a fire? Saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces? And therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord, that steal my words every one from his neighbor. Uh, Deuteronomy 18, 20. And behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord, that use their tongues and say, he saith. Ah, uh, behold, he says in 32, I am against them that prophesies, or prophesy false dreams, saith the Lord, and do tell them and cause my people to err or err uh, by their lies and by their lightness. Uh, yet I sent them not nor commanded them. Therefore, they shall not profit this people at all, saith the Lord. Uh, going over to uh, Zephaniah 3, 4, friends, on that one. And in 32, and when this people or the prophet or a priest shall ask thee, saying, what is the burden of the Lord? Uh, let's see where it goes here. Thou shalt then say unto them, what burden? I will even forsake you, saith the Lord. And as for the prophet uh, and the priest and the people uh, that shall say the burden of the Lord, I will even punish that man and his house. Thus shall ye say every one to his neighbor and every one to his brother, what hath the Lord answered? And what hath the Lord spoken? And the burden of the Lord shall ye mention no more, for every man's word shall be his burden, for ye have perverted the words of the living God, of uh, the Lord of hosts our God. And thus, in 37, thus shalt thou say to the prophet, what hath the Lord answered thee? And what hath the Lord spoken? But uh, since ye say the burden of the Lord, therefore uh, thus saith the Lord, because ye say the word, uh, the burden of the Lord, and I have sent unto you, saying, ye shall not say the burden of the Lord. And therefore, behold, in 20, uh, 39 here, uh, I, even I, will utterly forget you. Uh, and the city that I gave you and your fathers and cast you out of my presence. Jeremiah 4.33. Let's go to 40 here. And I will bring an everlasting reproach upon you and uh, with or a perpetual shame which uh, shall not be forgotten. Now, Let's go ahead and follow that up, uh, friends. Uh, amen. And we're going to go all the way over to Revelation, friends. That's going to be uh, in Revelation chapter 3. So let's uh, just roll on over there as we continue our Monday morning Bible study uh, podcast here on StreamYard TV and along, you know, along with some other channels. So got all our friends and family in the house this morning. Uh, trying to get back on schedule, you know, and that devil comes in there to kill, steal, and destroy, and I tell you, friends, I got attacked, uh, you know, not physically, but uh, spiritually, 
uh, I've been going through a moment, uh, friends, and, uh, you know, try to fight back and get right back into it, uh, you know, get back on schedule here. Uh, but, you know, again, on top of that, the Wi-Fi issues and the construction stuff going on now that we're into better weather, uh, you know, in the, the spring kind of happening here, it, it's been busy. It's been pretty hectic here. We've got uh, some crews showing back up again. Uh, to come in and do some work, and then of course I'm trying to maintain a couple, you know, a couple of properties and uh, some, uh, you know, the the grounds here on our on our campus here. I've been trying to take care of that as well, and so battling, you know, the health and the changes and all that. It, it's been a bit of a task, but like I said, I don't complain about it. Uh, I'm glad to do it, but uh, like I said, that's. You know, and it got a little part time, uh, some part time work I'm doing as well. Uh, so <laughs> it's busy, but I'm glad to do it. I, I'm glad to, and grateful to be called into this. And, uh, you know, like I said, I, I'm not going anywhere. I haven't heard I haven't heard God say, hey, you're done. Uh, you know, hang it up, quit. I haven't heard that. So <laughs> until I do. Uh, I'm going to be preaching this good news gospel, my friends. Thank you guys again for. Uh, rolling on with me here. I appreciate it. And I hope all this stuff helps, you know, in your, your scriptures and your reading and stuff. It gives you gives you something to look at and some study time, uh, which we all need. We really do. We need to be in our Bibles. We need to, you know, be in that Word and, uh, you, know, uh, you know, just be in our Bibles. So thank you guys. As always, I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. And I'm praying for you, too. Uh, all your, you know, everybody in your family and your friends, praying for each and every one of you. So keep up the good fight, my friends. That's right. All right. So we're going to kind of tag that scripture in with Jeremiah 23. Uh, that's going to be like 1 through 40. We're going to tag that in with uh, Revelation chapter 3. Uh, there's a connection there. So watch this. Is uh, as I get some more copy here. Amen. But my friend just tagged in from, uh, or, you know, uh, she she's in Japan. And she's like, you drink a lot of coffee. I said, no, no, no. It's it's my normal, my normal, you know, cup here. I always reheat that. Just kind of you know, have it, but, uh, you know, I have a Bible study and a coffee broke, you know, coffee broke out, or, or I had some coffee and a Bible study broke out, something like that, anyway, she, she always sends me these little funny emojis, um, uh, it, it, it's hard to concentrate, because I, I have to shut my phone down, because I can't, I can't watch that, try to do the podcast here, which is pretty funny, but, uh, yeah, that's it's uh, always interesting, <laughs> you know. She, I get little uh, coffee emojis with the Bible in its hand, you know, and the coffee's reading the Bible, which is awesome. But uh, it's it breaks my concentration, so uh, it's funny. It's all right. I don't I don't mind it. It's I'm glad to do that. So konnichiwa, domo arigato, my precious friends. Uh, thank you so much again for your uh, support there. All right. Uh, let's go again, friends. You know, I got to get my rabbling time in there. You know, amen, right? All right. Let's go to chapter three in the book of Revelation. Now, another quick point, friends. I probably... Uh, cause we've been getting a lot of emails, a lot of questions about the book of Enoch, uh, calling it a fairy tale and calling it the, uh, uh, you know, a, a book that does it, it exists. Uh, it's in the Torah. I've done po uh, lots of podcasts on the book of Enoch and there's others that are out there doing the same thing. Uh, but, uh, just, you know, there's a, a group that, uh, I'm in and came up. I as uh, I believe Jasher and uh, Enoch. Now those are in the Torah, so I'm not gonna you know go into too much detail on that. But uh, that uh, that book always brings up controversy, and people want to ask about it, question it, say, Nah, it doesn't real. It's not real. It's not real. Yeah, it is. You need to read your Bible and pray for discernment and understanding. 
uh, and some guidance there before, uh, you know, I, and like I said, that's the same issue I had uh, before. Uh, <clears throat> they want to question it and think about it, and I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to. I'm not going to give it too much uh, concern, but uh, I'll, I'll probably bring up the, the Book of Enoch again, 105 chapters, uh, and I've got it. I've, I've got a possession of the uh, Torah, and uh, there are, like many others, not be just beside, not be me, just, you know, besides me, uh, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of other uh, pastors and preachers and teachers that are out there uh, sharing that word, so... Heads up, friends, coming your way, the Book of Enoch on the probably re, the revised archive series. Uh, so, uh, you know, you yeah, know, an ear to hear uh, as the scriptures, plenty of scriptures that talk about that, uh, you know, and I think there's one even brought up with... Um, uh, the ignorance that's in their heart or in their, you know, in their mind or something like that. But they, it talks about that, and uh, so we're gonna we're gonna look at in depth uh, in depth study in the Book of Enoch that's coming up in the near future here. Uh, not sure. We're still in uh, Job. There's 42 chapters in the Book of Job, so I want to make sure I cover all of that through two to three chapters at a time per podcast. Uh, and that uh, that's where we're at now with that one. So, again, the Book of Enoch coming up in the future podcast here, friends. So, uh, stand by and stick around. Lots of that coming your way. All right, let's move on and go over to Chapter 3 in the Book of Revelation, my friends, because that's another one we got to pay attention to as well. Amen. So, he says... Uh, and under the angel of the church in Sardis write, These things saith he that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know thy works, that thou hast a name, that thou, uh, that thou livest and art dead. Ephesians 2, one. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. And remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on these as a thief, or thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. So again, be in, uh, be ready, friends. Amen. Now thou hast uh, a few names, even in Sardis, which have not... Uh, fulfilled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. Now he that overcometh, he shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. Exodus thirty-two, thirty-two, and Matthew ten, thirty-two. on that one. Amen. All right, uh, verse 6, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. As I was just saying there, Revelation 2, 7. Amen. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, write these things, saith. He that is uh, holy, be, or he that is true, he that hath the key of David, uh, he that openeth and no man shutteth and shutteth and no man openeth. There you go. Now I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door. I uh, no man can shut it, for thou hast a little strength and hast kept my word and hast not denied my name. Now, have you denied the Father's name, my friends? I hope not. We got to confess that name. Amen. All right. Now behold, I will make them of the of uh, the synagogue of Satan, which they say are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Isaiah forty nine twenty three. Now in 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, 
I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all, right? Or all the world, as he says, to try them that dwell upon the earth. And behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast no man. Uh, take thy crown. Uh, him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. And he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God. Which is the new, and let's write that down for our key part there, friends. Uh, the city of my God, which is the new Jerusalem which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. Friends, right there. It's it's just right there in verse 12. Now, I our first Kings 721, not I Kings, first Kings, there you go. Uh, in 13, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Revelation 2, 7 for that one. And unto the angel of the church of Laodosians, or the Laodosians, he says, uh, write, these things saith the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot, I would thou work cold or hot. Revelation 3, 1. Now, Again, watch this, friends. It's a pretty clear warning to those that are sitting on the fence, you know. Uh, e either hot or cold, I'm saying, friends, uh, this, this is something to listen to and something to hear. Uh, as he says here in 16, So then because thou art lukewarm, church, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of thy mouth. I don't know about you, but I don't think so. Not, not, not on this post, friends. So, he says, and continue here in 17, because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, uh, that thou mayest be rich and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of uh, thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see, Isaiah 55, 1. In 19, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten uh, by zealous or be zealous, therefore, church, and repent. Amen. Uh, Job 5.17, Hebrews 12.5, and behold, I stand at the door and knock. Now watch this. This is the key part here. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him. And he with me. Uh, Song of Solomon 5 2 for that. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcome and am set down with the Father at his throne or in his throne. Uh, again, friends, uh, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the church's revelation. To seven, and again, that uh, comes up to uh, uh, discernment, uh, understanding, um, clarity, as I, I said earlier, uh, and uh, wisdom. So, you know, if you walk in ignorance and you just don't, you don't understand, you don't get it or something, you know, you, you got to pray for wisdom and understanding. But, uh, again, there's a scripture clearly that says that by the ignorance, uh, you know, that's in their heart or within, that's in them. I don't know exactly the word, but uh, it clearly says, just as we read in Revelation 3, it clearly says, you know, an ear to hear. So those that get it are going to get it, and those that don't understand are going to mock it. Uh, just saying, it's right there. So, 
All right, Tin Ken, you're up here. I appreciate you dropping by, Pastor Rick here. You're in your first hour. Appreciate you. We'll keep going here. Rolling on through, friends. Amen. Tin Can. Uh, amen, amen. All right. There it is. Let's post that out. And there it is. That first live hour. Uh, ha, ha. Amen. All right. We got we got somebody on our channel here live. All right. Um, let's see. Go ahead and pull those monitors up here. Ah, uh, my friends, boy, have I got a lot to cover. Just uh, let's see. Uh, now I think I got something planned for tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that because we got, like I said, we got lots of construction happening over here, uh, friends. So I probably won't. I'll have to re reset that uh, out for tomorrow. But uh, we'll see kind of how things go, right? It's uh, best I can here. All right, so I'm just checking the monitor. I uh, make sure everything's dialed in here. Uh, I've got some side monitors here, just real close by. So, amen. All right, so that's loaded. All right, so let's see. Get that up there. Make sure that's checked in. All right. Ah, mercy. <laughs> so much. It's so much to do here. I'm like, wow. Amen. All right. So we're going to pull that up. Um, let's see. Hey, it's live right there. I didn't know that. And and again, I'll have to go ahead and check through some stuff. Um, let's see. We're going to have to dial in. I, I thought we were live. I, I kind of knew that we were live here. Uh, so bear with me. I got to do a quick check, and then I'm going to take the comments out. You guys don't... Uh, don't do the comments things because uh, uh, you know I I I'm not I'm not quite ready for those yet. I got bombarded the last time I was on live, and uh, I got bombarded with all kinds of stuff. So bear with me. We're gonna kind of go over here uh, to uh, the channel monitor out here, friends. And uh, so bear with me. Give me just a minute here. Let me go ahead and dial this in. I'm, uh, yeah, we're live. We're live on the air, my friends. Broadcasting from Studio A. You're here. There it is. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. On the first page, front page of YouTube, my friends, I am here. Broadcasting again, Studio A, the 17th here of April. Pastor Rick here. Appreciate y'all dropping by. So, bear with me. We are going to go uh, take care of a couple of things here. And uh, I got to go over here to this monitor. And uh, I want to take out the, uh, the uh, what is it, the uh, chat line. So hold your thoughts, guys. I appreciate you dropping by, but hold your, I haven't figured all that out yet, uh, how I'm going to do all that. It's uh, quite the extensiveness here. Uh, so bear with me. Uh, I'm going to kind of do some adjustments. Uh, and that's why I maneuvered the monitor, the uh, laptop over here on this side, so I can actually get in there and, and work instead of trying to stretch in front of the camera here. Uh, so bear with me, you guys. Um, let's see. All right. And I want to go there. And... Uh, All right, so just bear with me here. I got to do a couple of quick re uh, adjustments here. Uh, amen. So, oops. let's see if I can get this together here. All right. And let's see. I think. Um, let's see. I'm going to have to do this. Let's see. All right, bear with me, you guys. Thank you guys for for uh, doing this, uh, holding on with me for a minute. Uh, I'll have to post another picture up, so uh, just hold on here. Uh, amen. All right. And, oops. A little bit of a pause there. Uh, amen. Right. OK, 
Okay, here, bear with me, guys. Oh, man. All right. And, all right. And I'll put a new picture in there as well. I thought it was already in there, but apparently not. I missed something. I, I don't know why it didn't show up in there, uh, but it didn't. So, amen. Always learning something new, that's for sure. So bear with me, you guys. Hold up thought just a minute. Uh, let me go ahead and try to fix some of this, in, uh, you know, the information here. Uh, I thought that it was actually covered and it was already done, but apparently I missed something and it wasn't. So uh, I have to kind of readjust a little bit here. So bear with me, you guys. Just uh, kind of hold that thought a minute, uh, friends. Give me, give me just a bit here. And let me uh, let me go ahead and fix this uh, and reset this. I'll I'll put a new picture in there, a profile picture, because I really thought it was already done. I I posted it through Streamyard and thought it was already set. And apparently I, I'm <laughs> I'm not. We're live. Uh, amen. So I uh, you know like I said we we're here. I'm here. So all right, Monday morning. Well, you know, typical Monday mornings, right? <laughs> Monday morning. Early podcast here. I had to get back on track and wanted to make sure I gave you a good Bible study, uh, friends. So bear with me on this one. All right. Uh, let's see. So, um, hey, man. Like I said, I'll go ahead and put a uh, different picture up there. Uh, I don't have, I don't think I have, um, let's see. I don't think I have anything up there. So, amen. <laughs> I never know. I I just I work with what I got and and how I got it and what I'm doing here and uh, so, amen. All right. All right. Well, there. <laughs> I I just. I just turned to the monitor and said, ah, we are live. I thought it was just a pre-recorded, but we are live here. Pretty awesome. All right, so we're going to continue here. Um, let's see, because I don't think I have any pictures here. So we're going to go back over there. And again, just bear with me, you guys. Let me, uh, let me set this up here. I... I was uh, thinking I wasn't live, but uh, amen. All right. Well, there you go. Wow. Uh, pretty amazing. I, I was really thinking I wasn't live. I, and I, you know, I, I kind of thought, well, maybe it's it's just, uh, you know, like a pre-recorded uh, edition. And apparently I, I'm not. We're here. I just, <laughs> I just saw it. I was like, oh. Okay, awesome. So thank you guys. Uh, you know, I, as I got a quick reminder, uh, my friend just said, "Hey, uh, I'm watching the live right now. You're on YouTube. I can see you." I'm like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> hey, man. Well, what do you know about that, friends? That that's pretty awesome stuff here. I, so get just bear with me for a little bit before we continue, um, because I think I want to keep going. Well, we do def definitely need to keep going here. Uh, amen. We're going to go over to, and let me get this together here. We're going to go to our opening scriptures. That's where we're going next. Uh, friends, I want to go ahead and do that. So let's see. I want to get to Job, uh, because we are going to get into Job, uh, here, uh, for sure. As we continue our series that, uh, definitely, oh, there ripped a page there. Uh, amen. So we want to go to 22. Um, right, I believe that 22. Amen. This morning for church. That's right. Uh, yeah, there it is, friends. We want to go to chapter 22 in the book of Job, but uh, I'll go ahead and you know continue uh, here. Uh, let me make a quick adjustment this morning. Uh, I thought the picture was already done too. I I was thinking we already had the picture, all the information was already dialed in, and I guess not. I missed something. <laughs> so I was like, wait a minute. Uh, let's see. So 
Now let's see if I can get this together here. There it is. All right. Had to refresh the channel. I think that's what the problem was. I didn't. I didn't have them refreshed. So for some some odd reason, uh, I was thinking I had it refreshed here. Uh, amen. So bear with me. I got lots of channels here. Let me go ahead and post a couple of uh, a couple of out here. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So. So I'm going to post, uh, put a picture up there uh, for now uh, here this morning. I want to make sure I kind of get that. Uh, just kind of, I guess, maybe just a temporary uh, picture because I'm on the live channel one here, and I, I don't think I can uh, do anything there. So I, I don't want to mess that one up. Uh, that, that wouldn't be good. Uh, so... Oh. Uh, and it's our Monday morning broadcast here. So, again, just bear with me for a little bit here. I always appreciate your patience. You guys are awesome. Uh, amen. Amen. So, I just throw up there that Monday morning. Uh, let's see. I think that's what it is. Uh, our morning Bible study podcast here. Uh, I'll just put something up there for now. And, uh, of course, I'll change that. I'll make sure that gets changed out. So I think I've got a, a couple ideas of what I want to use, uh, friends. And that's the night one, the morning. I'm just kind of scanning through some pictures here real quick just to put up uh, on the uh, for the post here. And, again, it's going to be changed out. I'll, I'll readjust the, uh, the uh, you know, the picture here <laughs> try to i'm trying to think uh what it is <laughs> what is it um all right um mm, 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 mm. trying to find a like a morning uh kind of a morning picture here but i have a few and like i said it's on the main part of the uh the main part of the uh podcast picture you know the my my pictures that i use up so uh, like I said, just throwing something up, kind of a temporary, uh, deal here, so, um, mm -mm. of course, you know, we are still in our archive series with Job, so I want to make sure that, uh, you know, we got that covered too, which we do, and then Acts, of course, we opened up with Acts, uh, so, amen. Oh, mercy. There's so much. Uh, amen. That's Thursday morning. I uh, will put that up. Why not? The morning Bible study coffee hour or something like that. I'll put that up there for temporarily, friends, and uh, we'll, we'll get that all locked in there. Uh, of course, the new category for podcast here. Uh, amen. So... Bear with me. We, I think we got that rolling on through the night, my friends. That's right. All right. So I got that taken care of. We're squared up there. Our morning Bible study podcast uh, here. Friends, let me post a couple out. Um, oops. Hang on. There it is. There's our, our repeat there. All right. And I'll probably throw... You know, I'll probably post this out uh, thoroughly, uh, you know, as I get a chance to after the podcast. But I want to make sure that it's covered uh, and you guys know that uh, I'm here. So, uh, amen. So, bear with me. I'm going to post a couple out here. Good morning, my friends. It's your Monday morning wake up podcast. And again, I was thinking I wasn't live, but uh, I am. And uh, <laughs> I was like, well, what do you know? And I'll leave the rest of that. I'll, I'll post that stuff out later. Uh, I just want to make sure that I get this out here. Uh, a little after 2 o'clock in the morning, my friends. Are you awake and hearing the word this morning? Appreciate you all there. Uh, let's throw that out on Getter right now. Let's post that out on Getter uh, and uh, roll that out. Amen. And uh, All right. Let's post that out. Uh, let's see. Yeah. 
little bit of work here this morning. I, I'm already getting my workout going on. Amen. All right. So let's see there. I uh, got that taken care of on that. So bear with me, you guys. I got the, I got a few of them I, I want to get out this morning. Let everybody know that I'm here. Uh, amen. All right, all right. Tumblr, still on Tumblr. I know that's kind of an older channel, but I've been on there for a long time. Enjoy the channel, that's for sure. Uh, that's uh, <laughs> pretty old school, but hey, uh, you know, wherever I can get the word out, that's for sure. That's what I want to do here. Uh, now let's throw that out on the Instagram. Uh, Pastor Rick over there at Instagram as well. So. Wherever I could, you know, wherever I could find channels that uh, appreciated the gospel, that's that's what I jumped on. So, uh, man, let's see there. All right, um, let's see. I think that's okay there. Making sure I I hit the right buttons and the right uh, channel there. So there you go. And to our new friends, of course, I always appreciate that. All right, so just a couple little quick uh, posts out, my friends. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Let's see, I don't think I can do it there. Um, all right, nope, I'm going to leave that there. And I think, uh, let's see. Go ahead and go there real quick. I want to make sure I get that taken care of. I really, I really thought I wasn't live, but apparently I, I am. I know I'm, I'm out there live, but I really didn't think I was live. Um, so interesting, my friends. It is, it is. All right. Uh, man. All right, so I'm going to do that. All right, uh, let's see. I'm going to go, let's see here. Again, just bear with me for a minute, friends. Let me, uh, let me get a couple of quick things taken care of. Uh, amen. All right. Um, do do I'm gonna do all right ah uh, it's okay now let's see hey man all right well that's uh good to know that I've got uh, you know that uh, I'm there so I really again kind of uh, stumped I didn't think I was live so that's all right. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and go over here. And we'll get that over here. Put that on the stand. Amen. <laughs> there it is. All right. I think we're okay to go on and move forward here. Thank you guys for joining me this morning. I am live here on YouTube and more. Now, I think we just, uh, let's see. No, we didn't go. Uh, I just turned to Job, and I thought, well, maybe I'm already there, but uh, let's go to our notes here, friends. Let's go ahead uh, and go to our podcast notes, if you will, if you follow me on that one this morning. Uh, amen. And uh, let's go ahead and go over to the Sinner's Prayer of Salvation here, friends. Now, he says, Dear God, I know that I'm a sinner, and I need a Savior. I want to turn away from my sinful life to the life you have planned for me. Please forgive me for my sins. Cleanse me of my past. Make me new. I know your son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for me, and I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. At this very moment, I accept, confess, and proclaim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior to live in my heart from this day forward. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace that has saved me for my sins uh, and has given me eternal life please send your holy spirit to guide me and to help me to do your will for the rest of my life friends in jesus name we pray 
Amen and amen. All right, awesome. All right, well, we're going to roll on through, my friends, this morning. Good Monday morning to you, the 17th, I believe. Uh, amen and amen. Let's go ahead and... All right, monitor's up. <laughs> I got to make sure I'm still on. Uh, yep, uh, yep, 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 there it is. Spreaker's going live right now, my friends. Still on Spreaker. And, of course, all the way over to the U.K. and beyond that, uh, radio.co.uk. Amen. Wherever I can get the word out, friends, that's where I, that's what I'm doing. Uh, amen. All right. So, live here this morning. Good to be here again. Grab some coffee. We're going to continue. We're going to look at the serenity prayer. Amen. All right, boy, do we need some serenity, my friends? I think so. Uh, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, friends, that's right. Now, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardships as a pathway to peace, taking as Jesus did this sinful world as it is, uh, and not as I would have it, trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will, that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next. Amen. As we just read in the book of Revelation. All right. Oh, the Lord's Prayer, friends. You know I'm going to go that on that one. All right. Uh, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven, and give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, friends, forever and ever, church. Amen. Ah, you know, we got to have that too, friends. Amen. All right, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20, our armor of God this morning. Let's go ahead and just go right into it. Now, finally, my brothers and sisters, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day or against uh, the wiles, <laughs> there it is, uh, of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Uh, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand an evil day, and having done all to stand, uh, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness." And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which we know is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly, to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, of that their enemy speak boldly as I ought to speak. Amen. And there you go. You, you already got locked in there, friends, this morning. Uh, amen. All right. Double checking everything. Wanted to make sure, uh, you know, no surprises, no, uh, <laughs> no locked ins. Uh, I want to make sure that's there. Right. Um, right. Give me a minute. Well, I hope you guys are doing well. Like I said, a little late start here, but uh, reset, uh, restart, reset stuff a couple of times here, uh, as always. And, uh, you know, I wanted to make sure I, I got back on track here. Um, let's see. All right, so let's, uh, we're going to go ahead and go back up there, our morning Bible study and coffee hour here, plus, of course, live on StreamYard. 
Uh, I didn't really think I was going to be on. Like I said, I, it kind of threw me off because I, I didn't really know that uh, that I was on here. Uh, and, uh, you know, I was looking and going, well, I know our live button's on. I know it's recording. I know I'm on. But I, I didn't think it was actually recorded or like, like it was live because I didn't know. Uh, I had a little kind of little financial issue with this. And, hey, it's going to be taken care of. I'm not worried. And. You know, I was like, well, let's get on live. I haven't done a live video in a while and did an update a couple of days ago, a few days ago on the Spreaker channel. I uh, and uh, really didn't think that uh, it was on. And, uh, and then my friend was like, hey, you know, you're on live on YouTube right now. I'm watching you. So what a blessing. That is good. I'm glad people are looking out for me because Lord knows I need help. <laughs> I, I need some help here. Trying to do all this stuff uh, set up, you know, on this mission here. So, uh, but uh, yeah, she she was like, hey, you're on YouTube. I can watch you. So that's a good thing. So anyway, back here again, uh, StreamYard TV. Uh, and then, I, like I said, I got another podcast coming up later tonight, uh, I believe. Um, let me check my schedule here, what I got going on. Um, So, yeah, let me, uh, let's see, let's go back on that one, roll on back over to channel four uh, to kind of double check my channel here. I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. Oops, let's see. All right, I have to go kind of go this way to find out where I'm at with that. Uh, not cooperating. Well, I think I got something scheduled at 1.30, but I probably won't be able to do that like I was mentioning i because i've got uh, some things going on ah uh, yeah that's a melon um that's a melon tv channel uh podcast and i i'm not sure i'll be able to do that so that's why i kind of wanted to get back on here again uh this morning so thank you guys for your patience and understanding here i want to make sure i got jumped on here so Anyway, let's get back to our archive series here, friends. We are uh, we're taking a look and continuing in the book of Job, all 42 chapters. Uh, and again, as I mentioned earlier, I will be going back into Enoch here in the next few coming months. Um, had some questions, had some emails on it, had some, uh, you know, some uh, stuff kind of popping through and going, you know, I, I wanted to check to make sure, you know, Hey, are you are you really on or doing a podcast on Enoch again? Because we need to hear it, Jasher and Enoch. So that kind of came up again, as always. Uh, and, and I'm not going to go into detail on that. Y'all know, uh, you know what I, what uh, we talked about earlier. So I'll leave that at that. And uh, in the next few months here, uh, I'll be I'll be bringing back up the Book of Enoch again, 105 chapters uh, out of the Torah. A little different, so but there are other books that mention it, so uh, clearly I think it needs to be brought up eventually. So, at next, I'd say in the next few months, I'll go ahead and do that here. So, anyway, uh, let's if you got your Bibles with you, my friends, uh, we're going to dig into the uh, continued series of Job, and uh, I want to look at chapters 22 to 24 so if you've got your bibles out let's go ahead and look at that uh friends again we've uh we've pulled up our got our first hour in you're in your well i guess we're still <laughs> we're still at our first hour here uh but uh, i'm just going to roll through some scriptures and uh you know share that with you uh as i always do and again like i said i i haven't done a, a live video podcast here uh, in a little bit, so I've been busy, lots of things going on, lots of, you know, things happening here, so I, I kind of was like, well, let's go ahead and go, go do a live one, so uh, again, really surprised, uh, it's actually live, I, I just thought it was a pre-recorded one, but here you go, you two, friends, brothers and sisters, we're here. All right, uh, I got to scoot up, I think my chair has had it, it's broke, <laughs> and so I'm Kind of just moving right along with it, seeing if I can get it going here. So, uh, all right. So, um, I think we're okay here. I've got monitors down here. So, that's what I'm looking at. If you guys 
uh, kind of always see me uh, looking this way. Uh, that's that's what I'm doing here. Uh, amen. So, and I'm right. Amen. All right. So, bear with me. I've got uh, got to move my monitor down here. Oops. Uh, well, that didn't help. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I pulled my cord. Uh, my my uh, where is it here? I pulled my power cord out here. Uh, amen. I kind of need that. Uh, <laughs> so bear with me. All right, I got it. There you go. There you go. All right. Uh, what do we got? Uh, Job twenty two. Well, let's read that, friends. Uh, then Eliphaz and uh, the Tiamite answered and said. Can a man be uh, profitable unto God as he that is wise may be profitable unto himself? Uh, is it any pleasure to the Almighty that thou art righteous, or is it a gain to him that thou makest thy ways perfect? Will he reprove thee for fear of thee? Will he enter with thee into judgment? Is not the wickedness or thy wickedness uh, great in thine iniquities infinite? For thou hast taken a pledge from thy brother for naught and stripped the, the naked of their clothing. Thou hast not given water to the weary to drink, and thou hast withholden bread from the hungry. All right? But as for the mighty man, he uh, had the earth and the honorable man dwelt in it. Thou hast sent, uh, let's see, sent a window or widows away empty, and the arms of the fatherless have been broken. Therefore, snares are round about thee, and sudden fear troubled thee. Job 18 8, and it says in 11, uh, or darkness that thou canst not see, and abundance of water cover thee. Or uh, waters here, it's plural. Uh, let's see, Psalm 69, 1. Is not God in the height of heaven? And behold the height of the stars, how high they are. And thou sayest, how doth God know? Uh, can he judge through the dark cloud? Psalm uh, 10, uh, 11. Now, thick clouds are a covering to him, and he seeth not, and he walketh in the circuit of heaven. Psalm 139, 1, 1, for that, or 11. There you go. I, I was looking at what double ones here. Uh, hast thou marked the old way which wicked men have trodden, which were cut down out of time? whose foundation was overflown with a flood, uh, Job 15.32, which said unto God, Depart from us, and what can the Almighty do for them? Yet he filled their houses with good things, as he says, Return to the Almighty, friends. Ah, uh, but the counsel of the wicked is far from me, the righteous see it, are glad, and innocent uh, laugh them to scorn. Psalm 58.10 Whereas our substance is not cut down, but the remnant of them the fire consumeth. Uh, acquaint now thyself with him, and be at peace. Uh, therefore good, or thereby good, shall come unto thee. That is with God, of course. Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth, and lay up his words in thine heart. Psalm 119.11 If thou return to the Almighty, thou shalt be built up. Thou shalt put away iniquity far from the tabernacles. And we got Job 8.5, folks, on that one. Good morning to you. Uh, amen. Jumping online here this morning on YouTube and, of course, through StreamYard TV, friends. All right. Uh, shall be, let's see. Let's go back, I believe, uh, to 22 in Job. Uh, 22 here. Now receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth and lay up his words in thine heart. Psalm 119.11 uh, there. If thou return to the Almighty, thou shalt be built up. 
Thou shalt put away iniquity far from the tabernacles. We got Job 8, 5 for that side scripture. Uh, then shalt thou lay up gold as dust, and the gold of a fear as the stones of the brooks. Amen, right? Now, yea, the Almighty, he says, the Almighty shall be thy defense, and thou shalt have plenty of silver or gold. Uh, for then shalt thou have thy delight in the Almighty, and shalt lift up thy face unto God. Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear thee, and thou shalt pay thy vows. Right there. Psalm 50, verse 14 on your side scripture. Amen. Now thou shalt also decree a thing, and be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways when men are cast down. Then thou shalt say, there is lifting up, and he shall save uh, save the humble person. He shall deliver the island of the innocent, and it is delivered uh, by the pureness of hands. Amen. Now let's roll on through as we continue our archive series. Good morning to you, precious brothers and sisters. Hanging out, we're going through Job here this morning. The what is it? What day is this? Where's my calendar? The 17th? 17th. Good morning to you, friends. Uh, a little after 2.30 a.m. On your dial, my friends. That's right. I'm queued up, ready to go. Got my coffee fired up off the griddle this morning uh, to come on back into the church and have some study here this morning. Good morning, precious friends. I appreciate you all dropping by. All right. So let's continue again. Job, our series of Job. Uh, chapter 23. Let's go ahead and read that because, you know, I, I got some reading to do here. All right. Then Job answered and said, Even today is my complaint bitter. My stroke is heavier than my groaning. Oh, that I knew where I might find him, that I might come even to his seat. Job 13, 3. I would order my cause to for, uh, before him, and fill my mouth with arguments. I would know the words which he would answer me, and understood that he would say unto me, Will he plead against me with his great power? No, he would put strength in me. Uh, we got Isaiah 27, 4 on your side scripture, just in case. Uh, amen, friends. Uh, let's see, let's go on to 7. Now, there the righteous might dispute with him, so should I be delivered forever from my judge, right? Uh, behold, I go forward, but he is not there, and backward, but I cannot perceive him. Job 9.11 on that one. I'm uh, just double checking, make sure I'm, <laughs> I'm even with the camera here. Uh, he says, all right, 9, on the left hand where he doth work. Uh, but I cannot behold him. He hideth uh, himself on the right hand that I cannot see him. But he knoweth the way that I take when he hath tried me. I shall come forth as gold. Right? There you go. Uh, my foot hath held his steps. His way have I kept and not declined. In 12, neither have I gone back from the commandment of his lies. I have esteemed the works, my friends. There you go. All right. Kind of double-checking monitors up here again. Now, his power and by his understanding, he smiteth through the proud. By his spirit, he hath garnished the heavens. His hand hath formed the crooked ser uh, serpent. There it is. Uh, Psalm 33, verse 6. Now, lo, these are part of his ways, and how little a portion is heard of him. But the thunder of his power, who can understand, says the word right there, friends. All right, let's go on to 27, right? We're in 27. Oh, no, what did I do here? Did I jump the wrong page? I did. <laughs> We're supposed to be going uh, to 22. What am I doing here? Marcy. All right, 23. Uh, the answer to today's complaint, uh, let's see, okay, 
Okay, I thought I did that already. What? Oh, yeah, I jumped because the page is stuck. Uh, that's why I couldn't. I jumped all the way from one thing to the other. Uh, <laughs> it was like, wait a minute. I know we aren't that far up in this, this study here. Uh, the pages are not working all right. That's why. That's Sorry about that, friends. That's why it's uh, going to sound a little off. I jumped from 23 all the way over to 27. So uh, delete that out. Rewind it. And uh, we're going to continue. Oh, mercy. All well, that kind of happens when you're live here, friends. So let's uh, jump back to 23. Uh, in the, let's see, I think that's why I messed up here. Um, so I think I'm going to have to jump back to 23. Let's go ahead and just reread it again. Now the Job answered and said, even today is my complaint. Bitter my stroke is heavier than my groaning. Oh, that I knew where I might find him, that I might come even to his seat, Job 13.3. I would order my cause before him and fill my mouth with arguments. I would know the words which he answered me, and as he says, I had to understand what he would say unto me. Will he plead against me with his great power? Nobody would put strength in me, Isaiah 27.4. There the righteous might dispute with him, so should I be delivered forever from my judge? And behold, I go forward, uh, but he is not there, and backward, but I cannot perceive him. Job 9, 11. Again, kind of repeating a little bit here. On the left hand, where he doth work, but I cannot behold him. He hideth himself on the right hand, that I cannot see him. But he knoweth the way that I take when he hath tried me. I shall come forth as gold my foot hath held his steps. His way have I kept and not declined. And neither have gone back from the commandment of his lies. I have esteemed the words, as we proceed here, friends, uh, of his mouth more than my necessary food. But he is in one mind, and who could turn him? And what his soul desireth, even that he doeth. Job 9.12 For he performeth a thing that is appointed for me, and many such things are with him. First Thessalonians 3.3 3, For that, uh, therefore am I troubled at his presence, when I consider I am afraid of him. For God maketh my heart soft, and the Almighty troubled me. And because, uh, as you get that there, because I was not cut off before the darkness, neither hath he covered the darkness from my face. There we go. That explained it. What, what threw me off? I thought I was already, you know, kind of through that, and apparently I wasn't. So, there you go. All right, friends. So, let me scoot up again. Grab that fresh cup of coffee, of course, you know. Amen. All right. Uh, let's go to, as we kind of keep going here, uh, friends. i got a few more scriptures, as always. Um, let's see. Like that. we got Job 22 to 24. Of course, we're going to roll out into a few other scriptures here uh, this morning. And uh, still got uh, some time. Uh, amen. Praise God, friends. Good morning to you, precious friends, live, but still on Spreaker. And, of course, our friends across the pond. We got them live on Radio.co UK, friends. That's awesome. And uh, live on YouTube. I, I really didn't think. Like I said, I, I talked about that before. I was like, I I thought it was a, a pre-recorded live, but I guess not. We're live on the air, my friends. All right, chapter 24 in the book of Job this morning, friends. Uh, a little after 2.30 in the morning here. Just kind of getting back into the studio. Did an uh, audio update here not too long ago. And, uh, you know, just really didn't want the gaps happening uh, again. I, I think I took seven days uh, to work on, you know, things and, and uh, renovations here in the studios. 
So I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to really have that gap going on too much. And, and so it's been about three days. So I, I'm like, eh, we got to get back on track, start doing these every, you know, possibly every day. Again, now I mentioned I have a podcast set up for this afternoon, but I think I'm going to have to scratch that and reset that uh, and uh, just go back uh, tonight, later on tonight, about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. I think I'm going to have to do that uh, because we have some uh, supplies coming in, some uh, uh sheetrock and stuff coming in uh as we continue our renovations here so that's what's happening <laughs> brad so i like i said i never know when i get a chance to get on but i will try to uh get back on here and i like i said i, I appreciate you guys uh watching and jumping on here so let's get to it let's get back to uh job chapter 24 we're continuing in that series amen all right he says why seeing times are not hidden from the Almighty? Uh, do they know him not see his days? Some remove the landmarks. Uh, they violently take away flocks and feed thereof. Uh, Deuteronomy 19.14 uh, They drive away. Let's see. Uh, they drive away the donkey. Uh, the fatherless or the ass, as you say it in the Bible here. Uh, amen, right? Uh, let's see. And they take the wide, uh, <laughs> the what? Uh, let's see. Oh, ox for a pledge. I believe uh, the ox for a pledge i have to go back and re recall it again uh so's ox for a pledge i believe that's deuteronomy 24 6. now they turn the needy out the way and the poor of the earth hide themselves together and behold as wild donkeys and again don't take nothing out of the bible and don't add nothing to it don't change the words he says asses in the desert Go thy forth to their work, rising betimes for a prey. The wilderness yieldeth food for them and for their children. They reap, every one is corn in the field, and they gather the vintage of the wicked. As we look at Job's sins uh, of the wicked, and wicked will be forgotten. Now let's continue over to 7. They cause the naked to lodge without clothing, but they have no covering in the cold. They are wet with the showers of the mountains and embrace the rock for want of a shelter. Uh, Lamentations 4, 5 for that. All right. They pluck the feathers from the breast and take a pledge of the poor. They cause him to go naked without clothing, and they take away the sheep from the hungry which make oil within their walls and tread their wine presses and suffer thirst. Men grow, let's see, grown from out of the city, and the soul of the wounded crieth out, yet God layeth not folly to them. Uh, they are those that rebel against the light. They know not the ways thereof nor abide in the paths thereof. The murderer rising with the light killeth the poor and needy, and in the night is as a thief. Psalm 10.8 The eye also of the adulterer waiteth for the twilight, saying, uh, No eye shall see me, and dis uh, disguises his face. Psalm 10.11 in the dark they dig the or dig through houses which they have marked for themselves in the daytime. They know not the light, John three ten, right, or three twenty, for the morning is to them even as the shadow of death. If no one let's see, if no one know them, they are the terrors of or in the terrors of the shadow of death. I know that's a lot to get through there. All right, in 18, uh, as he, again he says, wicked will be forgotten, friends. That's uh, in Job here. 
Uh, now he is swift as the waters, their portion is cursed in the earth. He beholdeth not the way of the vineyards. Drought and heat consume the snow waters, so doth the grave uh, those which have sinned. Ah, uh, the womb shall forget him, the worm shall feed sweetly on him, he shall be no more remembered, the wickedness shall be broken as a tree. Uh, let's see, he evil uh, entreateth the barren that beareth not, that doeth not good to the window, or the widow, there we go. Uh, now he draweth also the mighty with his power, he riseth up, and no man is sure of life. And though it be given him to be in safety, whereon he resteth, yet his eyes are upon their ways. And they are exalted for a little while, but are gone and brought low. They are taken out of the way as all other, and cut off as the tops of the ears of corn. Uh, if if it is, uh, let's see, if it be not so now, he will make me a liar and make my speech nothing worth. And there you go, friends, uh, through a couple of parts of, uh, let's, let's say, get my notes out of the way. Uh, a couple of scriptures there. Let me get my notes, uh, if I can get to them. My bookmarks are thrown in the pile here so I can get to the, you know, the bookmarks to save my spots. Amen. There you go. How's that, friends? We got through three more scriptures in the book of Job 22 to 24. Uh, amen. Got a few more for you. I think we got uh, quite a bit of time on the clock, so let's keep rolling here on this Monday morning. Ah, 3 a.m., friends, just about 3 a.m. on your dial. We're hanging out. We're in Studio A here, friends. Good morning to you. Make sure you got your coffee with you, your Bibles. Uh, our church is on. Amen. And uh, let's see what we got rolling uh, this morning here. Make sure. Let's see. I think I've got want to check. Um, let's see if I got that rolling here. Right, and hopefully I'll get a new, uh, another tablet here as well. I, that way I can kind of eliminate some of the, some of the little bit of a problem in the mess here in the corners and stuff. So I never know. Like I said, I'm kind of squashed in for room here. And I, I, even though I moved my desk out about two feet, I have a whole nother podcast set up over on the other side of the camera here. Uh, which I'm actually going to set up another uh, another laptop and another area to podcast out of, uh, as uh, you know, as I increase you know the, the equipment here, um, it's going to be exciting. I'll have a whole another station based actually with a uh, with a podium. I was going to do that before. Uh, I I built one last summer, got that all taken care of and squared up. But I am working on uh, the camera and the, you know, a spot for the laptop and everything. So uh, I'll be I'll be doing my Sunday service from uh, from the uh, from the podium there. So that's going to be pretty cool. That's pretty awesome uh, build up as I keep going here. But mainly, you know, Monday to Monday to Saturday, I'm going to be here in my, in my office here in the studio A. Uh, but like I said, right on the other side of the camera here. Uh, I am working on a, a whole different layout, which is really awesome. So, And we have two more uh, units here, two more studios uh, on the first level here. So we're on the main level anyway. So when you come into the offices and stuff, uh, you you know, you got the main setup here. So I'm working on it. We're getting some stuff done, uh, trying to get the, uh, you know, the VIP kitchen, the waiting area and all that and the living room and the. What is it? The uh, the bathrooms, the restrooms, uh, VIP guests and stuff. We get the parking all squared up now that we've got better weather. It's going to be awesome. Lots of work, lots of stuff at it. You know, we're we're staying at it. We're keeping going uh, and keeping you know keeping uh, rolling here. Uh, amen. So let's roll on. Um, let's see if I keep going. 
Good morning to you, my friends. Yes, it's Monday. I know. I checked my calendar, and there it is. It's it's Monday morning. Uh, what a blessing it is to be here with you. I get to, you know, get on air and, and share some scriptures with you. Uh, I appreciate that. So thank you guys for that. All right. Well, that looks like a disaster happened here on my notes. Uh, friends, as, I, as you guys know, I'm renovating my studio, or not the studio too, but I'm renovating my scriptures here, changing notes over from a Bible. Uh, so hopefully I can read this uh, okay here. Uh, I don't know if I can or not, but I'm going to try. Uh, but up, 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 where am I at? Three, right? All right, Matthew, friends, check it out. We're going to go all the way over to the book of Matthew this morning here in church. Amen. And we're going to look at, friends, chapters three, uh, three and five, or three through five here in the book of Matthew. So let's go ahead and jump on that, friends, and let's read that right now, shall we? All right. In those days came John the Baptist, right, uh, preaching the are in the wilderness of Judea, Joshua 14.10. Now, in saying repent... Uh, as I, I'm trying to work on my notes here. He says, repent ye for the kingdom of God or heaven is at hand. For this is he that's spoken of by the prophet or was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah saying. Uh, as I, boy, let me get my notes together here. My scriptures are not working out. Uh, in the wilderness, he says, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. And I always kind of use that as well. So, <laughs> you know, all right. And the same John had his raiment of camel's hair and a leathern girdle, friends, about his loins and his meat was locusts and wild honey. Then went out to him Jerusalem and all Judea and all the region round about Jordan. Uh, Mark 1, 5. Uh, and were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his, uh, to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation, friends, right here, he says, O generation of vipers. Who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruits, uh, he says, uh, meat for repentance. All right. And think not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham uh, to our father, for I say unto you that God is able of those stones to raise up children unto Abraham. Uh, John 8.33 and now also the axe is laid into the root of his, of the trees. Therefore, uh, every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Matthew 7, 19 and John 15, 6. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, Isaiah 4, 4, and uh, we got Mark 1, 8. Whose fan is in his hand, he will thoroughly uh, purge his floor and gather his wheat unto the garner, but he will burn up the chaff, uh, or the chaff with unquenchable fire, Malachi 3, 3, as we look at the baptism of Jesus that cometh. Uh, Jesus from Galilee to Jordan and to John to be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me? And Jesus answering said unto him, Suffer it to be so now, for thus is becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him. 
And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, uh, and lo, the heavens were uh, opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lightning upon him, Isaiah eleven twelve, And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, friends, he said, in whom I am well pleased. Amen. Psalm 2, 7. Now, real quick, I don't know how much time I've got on this. Uh, we're on the free plan right now, but uh, uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, I'll be okay here. So, uh, amen. So, we we will <laughs> we'll play it by ear here, friends. And hopefully, I won't get cut off. Uh, and uh, you know, I'll, I'll still have uh, I'll have some time on here. If not, you get what you get, and the audio will be loaded up because I think this is already uh, in already on the all the channels already. So, again, just a little after a little over two hours here. Probably wrap it up here in a, in real quick here. I uh, probably just finish out Matthew, and then we'll go to Romans eight ten. Uh, you know, like I said, I always uh, I always bring a lot of scriptures into the podcast, into the message here uh, to give you guys. So we'll see. Maybe about another fifteen minutes or so here. Uh, we'll kind of see how it goes here. Anyway, so here he says, friends, in seventeen, and low a voice from heaven, saying, "This is my beloved son, in whom." I am well pleased. Then we got Psalm 2 7. So let's go to chapter 4. Uh, then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Now remember your temptations, friends. So we've got to stay in that word here. Uh, 1 Kings 18 12. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came, the devil, of course, as we clearly see and know, uh, to, said to him, uh, came to him and said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones may uh, be made bread. All right. Uh, and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth, of God, Deuteronomy 8, 3. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple. As we look at the preaching ministry of Jesus, friends. Uh, amen. Now, and saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee. And their hands they shall bear thee up, or in their hands, uh, lest at any time they dash, thou dash thy foot against a stone. Uh, we got Psalm 91, verse 11. Now Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God, friends. Deuteronomy 6, 16. Again, the devil taketh him up in, uh, into an exceeding high mountain, and sheweth him all the kingdoms of the world and glorify and the glory of him and said unto him all these things will i give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me then saith jesus unto him get thee hence satan for it is written thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him uh, only shalt thou serve. Deuteronomy 6.13 for Samuel 7.13 or 7.3. Then the devil leaveth him and behold angels came up, uh, came and ministered unto him. Hebrews 1.14. Now when Jesus had heard that John was cast into prison, he departed unto Galilee or delivered up of course and leaving Nazareth he came and dwelt in Capernaum which is upon the seacoast in the borders of Zebulon and Naphtali, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Esaias, the prophet, saying, The land of Zebulon and the land of Naphtali, uh, by the way of sea beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. Uh, let's see, we got Isaiah 9.1 for that one right there. Uh, the people which sat in darkness saw great light. And the, uh, as it says here, uh, to them which sat in the region and the shadow 
uh, of death, light is sprung up as we are reading uh, Matthew 3, 4, and 5 here this morning. Now, from that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, uh, as, uh, again, as our mission is here, friends, uh, as we look at it, uh, repent for the kingdom of heaven, uh, as he says, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, friends. And we've got to be uh, aware of that. We've got to be like cautious because, hey, we're in the end times. I'm telling you, we are. Just watch everything happening, <laughs> all right? So he says, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Uh, and Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, uh, for they were fishers, Mark one sixteen, John one forty two, And he saith unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men, Luke 5.10. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. Right? Working for the kingdom, right? Uh, amen. And going on uh, from thence, he saw other uh, two brethren, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, in a ship with Zebedee their father, uh, mending their nets, and called them, uh, Matthew one nineteen. And they immediately left the ship and their father and followed him. And Jesus uh, went about at all of Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness, friends. Amen. And uh, all manner of disease among the people, Matthew 9.35, Luke 4.15 for that. And his fame uh, went through all, uh, let's see, <laughs> throughout all Syria, and they brought him uh, all sick people that were taken with divers diseases and torments and those which were possessed with devils and those which were lunatic and those that had the palsy and he healed them. And there followed him great multitudes of people from Galilee and from Decapolis and from Jerusalem and from Judea and from beyond Jordan, Mark 3, 7 on that. Now, let's go on to chapter 5 in the book of Matthew, friends. And I got, like I said, I just got a couple more for you. Uh, we might close out, um, let's see, well, a couple minutes here. We, we might just close out about 15 after, 20 after, so. Uh, let's get to 5 here, chapter 5 in the book of Matthew. And seeing the multitudes, he went up in a mountain, and when he was set, his disciples came unto him, Mark 3.13. And he opened his mouth and he taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed or blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Isaiah 61 2. And blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. As we look at the Beatitudes here. Now blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Amen. Now blessed are they which do hunger. And thirst, church, after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Psalm 41, 1. And blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, friends, for they shall be called the children of God. And blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. We got Luke 6.22. Uh, Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted the pro are they the prophets which were before you, Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Mark 9.50 Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Proverbs 
Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Mark 4.21 Let your light, friends, he tells us right here, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. John 15.8 uh, Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For ver uh, verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Luke 16.17 Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Uh, but whoso uh, ever shall do and teach them, the same shall be great, or called great in the kingdom of heaven. James 2.10 For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, he shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. And ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not kill, and whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgments. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment, and whosoever shall say to his brother Raka uh, shall be in danger of the council but whosoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hell fire. Second Samuel 6.20 And therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, and there remembrance that thy brother hath ought against thee, Matthew 8.4, for your side note there, leave there thy gift before the altar, and go thy way. Uh, first be reconciled to the, thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. Agree with thine adversary quickly, whilst thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast in prison. Psalm 32, 6. Now verily I say unto thee, thou shalt by no means come out fence till thou hast paid the uttermost farthing. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. Genesis 34, verse 2. All right. And if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. And we got Matthew 18, 8, and Romans 8, 13. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off and cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not the whole body should be cast into hell. It, in 31, it uh, hath been said, Whosoever shall put away his wife, let him give a writing of divorcement. But I say unto you that whosoever shall put away his wife, uh, saving for the cause of fornication, causeth her to commit adultery. And whosoever shall marry her that is divorced, committeth adultery. We've got Matthew 19, 19 for that. Again, ye have heard that it hath been said by them of old time, uh, Thou shalt not uh, forswear, let's see, forswear, not forswear, uh, thyself, as I got to look at it, uh, but shall perform unto the Lord thine oaths. And we've got Exodus 20, verse 7. But I say unto you, swear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne. Isaiah 66, 1 nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Amen. Neither shalt thou swear by the head, because thou canst not make one hair white or black. But let your communication be yea, yea, nay, nay. 
For whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. And ye have heard that it hath been said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. Exodus 21, 24. But I say unto you that ye resist not evil, but whosoever shall smite thee on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also, or the other also, uh, Proverbs 20, 22. And if any man will sue thee at the law and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. And whosoever shall compel thee to go a mile, go with him twain. Give to him that asketh thee, and from him that would borrow of thee, turn not thou away. Deuteronomy 15.8 Ye have heard that it has been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, to uh, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Luke 6, 27. That ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he maketh the sun to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and the unjust. Uh, Job 25, 3. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same? And if ye salute your brethren also, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans so? Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Genesis 17, 1 and Luke 6, 36. Amen. And there you go, friends. Uh, a little after, but I think that's a good, uh, solid study there. Those are long scriptures, uh, friends. And uh, I think what I want to do, uh, friends, we'll reset that. Um, amen. I know this is going to be a little bit shorter than usual. Uh, I want to make sure I, you know, I don't get cut off or uh, I lose any of the podcasts here. Uh, that's you know really imperative that I make sure I I get on here. So I think we we got a good solid two hours. Anyway, uh, let me go to my notes here, friends. I'll give you a couple quick short ones for you for your Monday morning. Good to see you guys again. Uh, how about we look at Hebrews 4.12 and Galatians 6.8 this morning. Let's go to the first one here. Now, God's word is alive with energy. It is a living, active power. Uh, act, or let's see, full of energy. It is full of life and power. God's word is full of, uh, let's see, full of God's life. The word of God, church. Uh, is depositing more and more of the life of God into me. The life of God is developing me in me, and the word of God is piercing and penetrating its way down into me. Filling with my life, it permeates the very core of my being right now and fills me with life and power, friends. Now, let's go on over to Galatians 6.8. Uh, as I sow, he says, uh, the word of God into me, I reap more and more of life, of the life of God out of me. God's word contains God's life uh, and energy. I am full of that life and energy. It pulsates out of me in every increasing measure. The word of God is penetrating to the core of my being and exploding there with life. The life of God is radiating out of the inside of me, friends. And there you go. Fresh word this morning to start your Monday morning right, my friends. That's right. All right, that's it. A little after 3 a.m. I'm live here. Good to be here again. Good to see you. Uh, let's go ahead and roll out some channels uh, before we close this one out, let's go ahead and go to Block Talk Radio. I'll see you guys on the next broadcast. You guys take care. Pastor Rick here. I'll see you on the next one, friends. Block Talk Radio. Talk to you soon, friends. Have a good uh, Monday, actually. <laughs> Amen. All right. 
There's Block Talk. Uh, man, let's go ahead and roll out our Spreaker channel uh, one here. Amen. I think we've got, uh, that's actually, let's go on over to uh, radio.co. I will see you guys on the next broadcast. You guys have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon. Radio.co. See you later. All right. <laughs> there we go. More channels here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and roll out that one. I'll see you guys on the next broadcast. Spreaker uh, channel three. Amen. That's rolling out good. So you guys take care. I'll see you on the next broadcast. Spreaker channel three. Amen. There it is. All right, guys. See you later. And there it is. We got that rolled out. And let's see what we got. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Call out uh, three or one, right? Hey, man, kill three. No, three, anyway. I'm just testing it. Let's see that. All right, Spreaker Channel One. That's right, this morning. Good to see you guys back uh, live on StreamYard, friends, uh, TV. And again, I should be back on later on tonight sometime because I'm going to close up them gaps here. Uh, you guys take care. See you in the next one, Spreaker Channel One. See you soon, friends. Take care.